Law enforcement sources telling Fox 29 today that a man who served multiple years in prison for murder, later exonerated and released by the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office, just recently was involved in the same crime. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sheba Russell, and police releasing this mugshot of Jameer Harris a short time ago, asking for your help to find him. Steve Keeley starts us off with a story you'll only see on Fox 29. Jameer Harris is wanted for murder again. Now 33 years old, Harris was set free from prison last year after serving eight years for a previous murder conviction. After the district attorney's conviction integrity unit successfully won Harris's freedom, making headlines in the Philadelphia Inquirer that had photos of Harris celebrating with his mother. But now Fox 29 News has learned that just two weeks ago, Philadelphia police got an arrest warrant for Harris for another murder last month. Multiple law enforcement sources say Harris was the man seen in this surveillance September 5th when 50-year-old Charles Gossett was shot in the back of the head and killed here on North 56th Street. Harris had been convicted of the murder that happened two nights before Christmas in 2012 when 45-year-old Louis Porter, who had his 5-year-old son close to him in the back seat, was hit with as many as 17 shots fired at him in the parking lot of Walgreens on Oregon Avenue. His son was not shot. Harris was arrested three months after and later convicted. Harris's lawyer appealed to the DA to re-examine the case. And in a statement to Fox 29 News today, the district attorney's office said it found Harris's constitutional rights had been violated at the time of his prosecution because information implicating another individual as the likely shooter had not been turned over to defense counsel. Last year's hearing was combative. Court transcripts show that the judge, Rosemarie Defino Nastasi, was highly critical of the way the DA's Conviction Integrity Unit handled the case and was not confident in their investigation, saying, This court wonders how the Commonwealth felt confident in releasing a murder suspect from prison when the Commonwealth said one page earlier that the criminal investigation in this matter was still ongoing. Lewis Porter's wife told the Inquirer after Harris was set free that she remained convinced Harris was guilty of her husband's killing, asking, you're telling me my husband's murderer is able to walk the streets? Now what message are you sending to the city? And now, Harris is out on the streets, accused of murder again. In Philadelphia, Steve Keeley, Fox 29 News. District Attorney Krasner just releasing a statement justifying his office exonerating Harris. He says, quote, wrongful convictions warrant correction by the criminal justice system because they undermine confidence in the system and because the actual persons responsible for serious and violent crime are not held accountable. The facts alleged in the new arrest warrant for Harris have no bearing on the overturning of Harris's 2012 conviction. Meanwhile, our Kelly Rule spoke with family members of Harris's alleged victim. For the sister of 50-year-old Charles Gossett, murdered on Labor Day, she says all they want is justice, and this adds another level of frustration and grief. He was just that kind of guy. Linda Cruz could talk about her brother, Charles Gossett, all day. The 50-year-old, known to Philly's music and art scene as Charlie Khan, was a father who also worked with youth and mentored specifically on nonviolence initiatives. So many people just loved him. It's sad only for violence to cut his big plan short. I'm just overwhelmed with, with all of this. I still can't sleep at night. Cruz says that grief compounded this week when she learned more about a man wanted for her brother's murder. Roughly two weeks ago, Philadelphia police released this video of a suspect and the car he was driving. Police say Gossett was shot in the back of the head on North 56th Street back on September 5th, shortly after 2 a.m. Family members say he was walking to his car after leaving a birthday party for a friend at the Blue Brook Club in Overbrook. Now law enforcement sources tell Fox 29 the suspect in that video wanted for Gossett's murder is Jameer Harris. As Fox 29 Steve Keeley reported, Harris was released from prison in 2021 after his conviction in the 2012 murder of 45-year-old Lewis Porter was vacated. To me, that's just like horrifying. I, I feel sick in my stomach all over again. And I don't even know how that could even happen. Cruz claims Harris knew her brother personally and that some of his family members attended his services. She's calling on Harris or his loved ones to turn him in and for the system to do its job. Everybody that had anything to do with this, they're going to get tried and convicted for this. You're not going to get away with this. It's not going to happen. 
A spokesperson for the DA's office says surveillance video and further investigation by police led them to identifying Harris as the alleged driver of a vehicle that two people got out of to shoot and kill Gossett. The DA's office says they will charge Harris with murder and other related charges once he's arrested by police. Reporting at police headquarters, I'm Kelly Rule, Fox 29 News. Some major developments today.